Hi everyone, Elisa with Jots Designs, and in this video I'm going to take this little side dish that is um, a pampered chef side dish that I actually got from the thrift store, and I'm going to make it into a little trinket dish. I'm using a technique I saw Louise Singleton do, and uh, she used some UV resin and some liquid dish soap. I've just got some regular Dawn and a container to make the bubbles in. Um, you'll also need some warm water and a UV resin lamp. All right, so let's get started. So I'm just gonna clean the dish first uh, with some 91% isopropyl alcohol. I'm just really getting any fingerprints and oils and all the dust and dirt out. And then I'm gonna take some UV resin and I'm just gonna unscrew the top just to make it easier to pour it out. And I'm just gonna pour a little bit in the dish. Um, I don't need much, just enough to coat the bottom really. And then I'm just gonna spread that around. And then I'm just gonna grab another, um, or just a stick and spread the resin up to the edges. I'm not gonna go up the sides or anything, but just to make sure that the bottom is fully coated. And then I'm gonna pop some bubbles with a lighter and then add some soap to the container and the water to the container. And I've only got about maybe a third um, of the way filled with water and I just wanted the tall container. So that way when I grab the bubbles, I'm not actually touching the water, I'm just grabbing bubbles. So I'm just gonna grab the bubbles and tap my hand down and let the bubbles kind of stick to the resin itself. I'm not gonna really push down or anything, just let it do its thing. And then I'm gonna stick that into the UV lamp, which is a 36 watt lamp. And I've got um, a link down below for you to check out if you're interested in that. And I'm gonna let it cure, and it cures for about three minutes on the setting that I have. So it's nice and cured, but I noticed there were some bare spots that um, maybe it was a really big bubble and it just looks empty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill those spots in and I'm just gonna basically do the same thing. Um, shake up the container to make a few more bubbles and then add in some UV resin there, spread it around just to make sure the whole little area is coated and then add some more bubbles to it and let that cure for another three minutes. All right, so that is done and I'm just gonna dab it with a paper towel here and make sure that any of the moisture um, or well, most of the moisture is taken out. I wasn't too worried about it since I was going to be using some water with the paint anyways. Okay, so to paint this, I'm going to be using some Lemire um, by Jacquard paints, and I've got the pearlescent turquoise and the metallic gold, and then I've also got halo pink gold and halo violet gold, and I absolutely adore these two because they change colors and they're just so awesome, so I think all of these will go really well together. So I'm just adding um, a little bit of paint to the palette here and I have the brush wet. I'm not really adding water to it. I just would rather have a wet brush than a dry brush. And I noticed when I was painting it, it, it worked a lot better by more dabbing than painting um, just to make sure all the little crevices um, were coated and, and not just being the paint, not just being brushed away when I brushed it. So I got everything done there and dried it, noticed I missed some areas, so I'm just filling those in and just kind of blending the lines just a little bit. And then dried it with the hair dryer, nice and quick. And then I'm gonna top it with some Liquid Diamonds Casting Resin. And I got this from the Epoxy Resin Store and there's links and discounts for that down below as well. And it's a two to one ratio and you can do it by volume or weight. And I like doing small amounts by weight. So I've just got my little pocket scale here and I grabbed the little bottles that I have everything in, started with the hardener and just measured out one part hardener and then added in the resin two parts. And an easy way to tell that you have everything mixed is by the way that the, the resin actually looks. So it kind of starts out clear and then gets this kind of murky and stringy looking um, when you start mixing it. But then as you continue to mix it, make sure you scrape your sides, your bottom, and your stick. But you'll notice 
um, that the wispies start to go away and you can really see it when you move your stick around. So once all of those wispies are gone, mix it just a little bit more and then it'll be nice and clear. And with this resin, there's virtually no bubbles, um, especially if you don't use a wooden stick um, because wood can actually create more bubbles too. Um, but I'm just gonna pour that in, make sure all the little holes are filled in and that the resin gets up to the edges and um, bring out any bubbles that were created just by pouring it in there. And looks pretty good there. So I'm just gonna cover it and let it cure overnight. All right, so it is nice and cured and I'm just checking to see if anything's sticking out. And I did see something down here at the bottom and you'll be able to see that right there. So I needed to make some more resin just to make sure that that was covered. So basically just the same as before, measured it out by weight, mixed it up, stirring it nicely and making sure that the sides were scraped, bottom stick, everything was scraped and mixed well together. And then I just poured it on to make sure that I covered that. And I knew I made a little bit more resin than I needed, but that was fine. I could add that into some molds and make some jewelry with it, but I wanted to make sure I had enough. So I'm just checking that those little peaks were covered and they were. So I let it cure and here you go. And I love how this paint just shimmers and the the colors just uh, of the, um, the halo pink and the halo violet just change and you can see that really nicely here. And I love those little bubble effects too. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know if you have any questions. Give the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Check out my links below for everything I used and my Facebook, Instagram links, um, PayPal, Patreon, Amazon wishlist. Uh, check out Jot's Designs for my shop and I will see you guys next time.